Well, welcome back to my morning report analysis videos on Monday the 12th of June with me, Rich Pellock, and Alice at Marcus. Looking at Euro, um, Euro sort of corrected last week on the back of that ECB meeting, um, sort of fell below the initial support at 1 at 12 big figure. And um, looking on the hourly chart, you can see there it sort of formed a bit of a top pattern. It's not it's not a huge sort of top pattern, just gives you a sort of 85 ticks worth of downside move and we've seen the initial support coming back in at 1160 now that's interesting because that's been a pivot 1160 so coming back in as a basis of support so the market doesn't necessarily want to fall too far and sort of looking at this you look at the hourly um, and sort of the daily momentum indicators still strongly configured really um, RSI above 50 MACD lines just ha yes corrective near term um, to reflect this uh, sort of three day drop away that we've seen but ultimately I think values, uh, sorry, corrections are going to be bought into. You've got this dotted line here which is the rising 21 day moving average. Now that has, was the base of support previously in May and it could again become the base of support now. So this is still a corrective move I'm still looking at using as a chance to buy. Now as long as it doesn't fall below 11 figure I think you're still pretty much confident that this one is going to be sort of a, a sort of you or the bulls are going to use this sort of correction as a chance to sort of solidify and uh, renew upside potential so I think that's a, a fairly um, fairly healthy move um, coming back to find support as I said 1165 uh, Friday's low before the bounce today I think um, we're looking at uh, renewing that upside potential and probably going up to retest the highs 1285 and then back towards 13 big figure which is the uh, resistance back from November. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your training today and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.